All right, welcome back. So uh, today we're going to take a look at adding audio to our game, just to kind of add more polish. This is probably going to be the last thing that we're going to add to it. Um, there's some other things that BB10 has, like those um, position randomizer circle things. Uh, Enchanting Runes has some explosive blocks. Uh, balls, I don't think, has anything like that. Um, but this is probably going to be the last thing we're going to do. If you want to add anything more to it from here, I mean, feel free to let me know and I can give you vague ideas about how to go about it. But this is pretty much the end of the project. So awesome. Thank you so much for staying with me this far. You've done an awesome job. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to find audio. Um, you can find audio all over the place on the internet, but again, um, you don't want to use anything that you don't have any rights to. So Kenny.nl um, has, as part of its uh, website, an audio section. So I'm going to grab some music jingles here. Uh, I'm going to open this link in new tab, and I'm also going to grab some digital audio just to get some um, download both of these really quickly here, just to get some uh, music for our game. Uh, all right, so now go ahead and open up your program, and in my assets folder, I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call this um, sounds. Uh, okay, now in my sounds folder, I'm just going to grab both these folders. I just downloaded the jingles. It's going to think for a second. And then I'm also going to uh, pull in the digital audio so that we can have a background song. And then we can also have some music that plays every time our ball hits a brick. So I might fast forward through it doing all of this stuff. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to look at my jingle sounds here. And <laughs> there's a bunch of different things. Let's look at mess. So we got our jingles here. If you highlight it, um, you can see that uh, it brings up kind of some information about it in the inspector. Over here, I want to hit play just so I can kind of hear what they sound like. Turn my volume down, that was really loud. Uh, none of these are super long. <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, maybe sax. Let's go to the digital audio one. So, we got some two tones, power ups, phasers. Um, let's hear what some of these are. Go phaser or phase jump. That's not bad. kind of sounds like a bouncy ball. So I'm going to find a sound I like um, for bouncing around in the environment. I'm going to pull this up in here. And then, uh, let's see here. These are pretty cool. Sounds almost like the Sega Genesis. Uh, okay, so I'm going to grab an alternate one. Let's do something really short. Nah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of enjoying this. Uh, there we go, that's a short one. Cool. This is my alternative. So I'm just going to pull those into the scene just like I would a piece of art. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that for both of them, play on awake is not checked. So I'm going to turn that off. Um, cool. Now, I'm going to create a new game object, and I'm going to call this game object the sound manager. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, pieces of music I just pulled in, and I'm going to make them children of the sound manager. Go in there. some reason, there we go. Unity's being weird for me today. Uh, okay, cool. Now, um, if you guessed that we need to make a script now, you are absolutely correct. So I'm going to go to Create, 
C sharp script, and I'm going to call this one Sound Manager. All right, so I'm going to open this up in Mono Develop, and pretty much the only sound I really want right now is the sound of the ball hitting the, the sides. So I'm going to do um, public audio source, and I'm going to call it ball hit. So I'm going to save that. Um, now, I don't need the start or the update method. I'm just going to take those away. Now, whenever I want the ball hit sound to play, so for example, I'm going to go into my brick health manager here, and every time the brick takes damage, I'm going to have it play the um, ball hit sound. To do that, I need to have a reference to the sound manager. So I'm going to go up here, private, sound manager, I'm just going to call it sound. Because I made it private, I need to finish the reference down here. So sound is equal to find object of type, sound manager. Okay, cool. And then down here, when I'm taking the damage, I'm going to add another line. I'm just going to say sound, which is the sound manager, dot ball hit dot play. And it's just going to play that sound. It is that simple. So I'm going to go to Unity here. Um, pick my sound manager as soon as it's done compiling. And I'm going to pull my sound manager script onto it. It needs to know what the ball hit sound is. I decided I wanted to use phaser up one. So I'm going to hit play here. <laughs> and there you go. Between the, uh, the ball sound and the particles kind of adds a lot. Now if you wanted to have background music, I don't have any background music to play here, but what you would do is you would find it in the sounds folder or you'd put it into your sound or music folder. Pull it into the scene. Um, you probably want it to play on awake, and you'd also want to choose uh, the looping. So if you had background music, you'd want that to play on awake, and you'd want it to loop. You wouldn't need to call it from the uh, sound manager script unless you were doing something like a setting that monitored the volume. Uh, otherwise, you would just have it there in the scene. All right, so there we go. I think this is probably the last video I'm going to do unless anybody requests something special. Um, I'll update the code on my Google Drive. I'll add that link in the description. Other than that, uh, thank you so much for doing this. You guys have all done a great job and have a wonderful day.